It's August 8, 2025, and GPT-5 is finally here. It's one of the smartest, fastest thinking model from OpenAI built in with custom tools and optimized for complex reasoning. GPT-5 ships in three sizes, the regular GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini, and Nano. Mini and Nano are faster and cheaper, but the regular GPT-5 is much more intelligent. So in this video, um, what I'll show you is how you can build your very own custom AI assistant with GPT-5 that you can deploy to your website, share it with others, and even monetize it. So head over to this website called calstudio.com and create a free account here. CalStudio is a platform that lets you build, launch, and monetize GPT-5 assistance without code. So sign up and go to this dashboard page. Now once you're here, click the Create App button to start building your very first GPT-5 app. From the App Creation menu, select OpenAI GPT. And now you will be taken to this form. Fill out your GPT-5 assistance name description and a prompt or instructions. And as you can see, GPT-5 would be already pre-selected in the menu, but if it's not there, you can just open this and select GPT-5. Now most of the information is pretty standard, but the most important bit here is the prompt. Prompt controls the behavior of your app. You can think of it as a brain of your AI assistant. So it's important to design a good clear, well-detailed prompt with examples. This input area supports up to 25,000 characters, so you don't have to worry about running short of the space you have. And if you want your GPT-5 assistant to answer based on specific documents or sources, just enable RAG under the Data tab. You can upload up to 100 knowledge base files, each up to 100 MB, or write up to 100 URLs for the knowledge base. Now, under the Actions tab, you will notice some other tools like Google Search, Date and Time, Stock Analysis. So enable it if you need it, and if, you, if, you're, if you're not sure, you can watch some of the videos that we have to help um, explain how they work. But if you're not sure, just keep it unchecked because each tool may add additional time to the queries. Now, once you have everything set up, click on this Create App button. Your new GPT-5 assistant will now appear on your dashboard. You can test it immediately by clicking on, the, clicking on this test button. You can tweak the prompt, adjust model settings anytime. But once you're ready, just hit launch to make your app public. Now you will notice that you will get a unique link that you can share with anyone who wants to use your app. Here is one of the apps that I built with GPT-5. I can customize the design. I can monetize it, embed it, or deploy it to my custom domain using the Cal Studio platform. So that's that's it. Um, feel free to check the platform out. Um, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. Thank you.